everyone welcome back to another video this is one of the few videos that I will be uploading in my little wedding series that I have going on so in this video I'm just going to be showing you my wedding planner and what I've been using to kind of plan my wedding thus far if you guys haven't been following me for that long of a time then you wouldn't know that I am a huge planner addict I absolutely love my planner I have various plan with me here on my channel if you want to check those out I have a full playlist here on my channel of just planner related videos but because I love planning and my planner so much I definitely wanted to get a wedding planner that was specifically just for wedding planning and yeah so I thought I would just come on here and real quick and just show you the planner or I guess the planner insert that I have been using everything that's included in this wedding planner some of the things that I found really helpful so far so I'm gonna go ahead and get started so if you would like to see my wedding planner and kind of get some tips on what I have found helpful so far planning my wedding then just keep on watching so here is what my wedding planner looks like right here and I guess I, I keep calling it a wedding planner but it's not really like a full planner that I bought it's actually a planner insert that I bought for my specific planner so the planner that I use is the happy planner and so this um wedding insert is just like a planner insert to put into your planner but I just actually got some extra little um, hooks right here and then like an extra cover and back cover and I made this into like its own specific planner instead of just putting these inserts into my everyday planner I really wanted to keep it separate that's just how I think and how I like to stay organized or I guess that's how I feel more organized by keeping them separate so yeah and I bought this uh, planner insert at Michael's I'm pretty sure like years ago like it was like pretty much a few months after I got engaged so that was probably a little over three years ago I'm sure if you like google it or even go on like the happy planners website you could definitely find it or on Amazon or I'm sure you could find various uh, wedding planners or other planner inserts related to wedding planning. So in my little uh, planner that I made, when you first open it up, I actually have w another little insert that just has apartments so you can put various papers. I have some papers from um, like the wedding venues that we looked at and the one that we actually ended up picking. If it's wedding related, that's where I'll put it in here. And then here is what the start of the wedding insert looks like. So it just says our wedding. So it's a nice little cover page for you. And then it just has various um, tabs on the sides. So I'll just quickly read each of the tabs so you can get an idea overall of everything that comes in this planner. So the first tab is our wedding. Then we have vendors inspiration, budget, checklists, wedding party, guests, uh, wedding events, wedding day, and then honeymoon. So when you first open the uh, Our Wedding tab, you get this page right here. So on this page is just kind of like a quick page you can look at for dates. So you can write down the date for your engagement party, bridal shower, bachelorette and bachelor parties, ceremony rehearsal, rehearsal dinner ceremony, and reception. Next is the Vendors tab, which I probably won't be showing you too much information because I do have like uh, specific information like phone numbers and addresses and pricings and things like that from the vending or the uh, venues that we looked at and the one that we ended up choosing but I'll just show you this page right here so this is the first page when you go on the vendors tab so this is where you can quickly write down um, the venue's name and contact information and addresses uh, for the reception and ceremony venues that you chose it also has other options so you could write down your caterer your florist your officiant photographer videographer DJs things like that so that's where you can another kind of quick page where you can see all of that information and then the other pages that follow it, it allows you to write down more specific information relating to those venues. So this is what I used um, for the ceremony and reception venues that we looked at. So it gives you room to write down three different uh, venues. So you can write down all their contact information and then it has specific questions that you would wanna ask when you go you know, do the tour of the venue in contact with whoever the contact person is through that venue. So you definitely wanna find out um, how much it's going to be, the guest count that you will need, or I guess the guest count they allow, how much time you have in the space. Oh, it has some um, questions about like liquor licenses, if you can bring your own liquor or do you need like a licensed bartender. It has uh, questions about parking and then decorations, like how can you decorate and what 
kind of like decorations or linens do they provide and it just has various questions and then there's also a um part at the end of one of the pages where you can write down additional notes so if there's other questions or other information that you find out you can quickly jot it there and i like how it comes in like columns so you can very easily look at all the information right there and compare um that's kind of what i did when looking at the our venues for our ceremony and reception sites and also at the bottom right here um and i'm pretty sure it provides that on a lot of these pages it provides like different tips so like information that you're going to want to find out or just other like tips that will age you in the whole wedding planning process which I think is very helpful, especially if this is your first time planning a wedding. All right, and then you also do have the same layout for some of the other ven vendors. Um, these I can show you because I haven't written anything down yet. So you have this one for caterers. And again, it has specific questions that you can ask them related to catering. Um, you have this one right here that has uh, for the cake baker. There's one for the florist, stationers, music musicians, and DJ photographer and then you also do have these pages under the ven vendors tab where you can kind of just make it your own like if there's other vendors that they don't have specifically listed in this tab you can kind of just create your own and write down whatever you like a lot of this i don't have filled out yet because we haven't picked our you know photographer videographer djs and things like that the only thing we've picked so far is our reception and ceremony venues but next we move on to the next tab which is inspiration and this one i have already kind of filled out the first page under the inspiration tab is this one right here so you can kind of list out um what kind of color palette you would want so it gives you three different options to write down like what kind of main color you would want and then accents colors so you can pick your top three color combinations and put them there and then you know look at them kind of side by side and then decide from there and then it gives you options to either put pictures like i did i just printed out some of these pictures off of pinterest and then i just put them under their um designated category so this first page is decor for the ceremony then you have decor for the reception next is fashion for the bride and then this one is fashion and then it also has other ones for stationery and then florals so i just have a few different pictures i haven't filled this out like totally yet the next tab is budget which i don't know how much i'm going to be able to show this uh to you guys because i already do have some numbers written down but yeah it has various um things that you can kind of help budget out and plan for your wedding because obviously paying for the wedding is very important so there's three different columns so you can write down what your budget is for example a wedding dress so in the first column you can write down what your budget is let's just say you want to stay under 1500 or something and then in the second column you have vendor estimate so you can kind of get like an estimation of like how much your wedding dress would be and then in the last column is the actual price so whatever price you paid for your wedding dress so that's, this is just kind of like a helpful way to see, you know, what your budget is and kind of how much you're actually spent on it. So you kind of know exactly where your money's going where. I feel like with planning a wedding, there's so much that goes into it that it, you could definitely get lost with the spending and like where your budget is and where your money's going. So I feel like this tab makes it really helpful. And if you end up saving some money, then you can kind of get an idea of where you can put that money somewhere else. If you're under budget, you know, what have you, you can definitely make this tab your own. And then also at the very end, um, you can fill in some like more information. So it just, it's just like a miscellaneous tab. So if there's like categories that are not included already in this pre-made budget thing you can write those down there but another thing that i really like about this budget tab is on the first page it provides you with this little chart and then it has some like other like pro tips and just some things to keep in mind so this chart is just showing you like i guess on average how much of your money needs to go where when it comes to planning your wedding so for example the usually the biggest portion of your money is going to go to the reception just so you can get an idea of how expensive weddings are are and kind of get an idea of like where your money needs to go the next tab that we have is the checklist tab and this is hands down my favorite tab out of this whole wedding planner this is the tab that i have used the most often uh for our wedding planning process so far and this is definitely the tab that has kind of helped me keep my sanity and keep me like the most like organized and on top of things so basically what this is it this provides checklists of like what you need to get done 
12 plus months before your wedding and then nine to 12 months before your wedding. These are the things you need to get done and then six months before your wedding and so on and so forth. Obviously you can find these types of checklists anywhere like on Pinterest and Wedding Wire. I've even seen they've had like wedding checklists of things you need to get done and when and those can definitely vary. But this one so far I have found really helpful and I even love how for your wedding day it provides like an emergency kit like th some of the things to put in your emergency kit so like deodorant tissues breath mints lip balm like feminine products a mirror like i just think that's so cute and i actually think that might be something that i might do on my wedding day and then it even provides like a weekly checklist that you can write in yourself for the week of your wedding like if there's just some last minute things that you need to get done so yeah definitely my favorite tab in this wedding planner the next tab that you have in here is wedding party this one i have not used and probably will not use because me and my fiance, we just made the choice. We're not going to have a wedding party, but obviously a majority of people usually have a wedding party. So this is where you can write down um, all of your bridesmaids and groomsmen, and you can write down like their name and like other contact information. And it also provides you places to write down like the flower girl or ring bearer, um, ushers. And then also at the end of this tab section, you can write down gifts of kind of what you want to get your bridesmaids and grooms when, when, which I think is a really cute idea. The next tab that comes in here is guests, which is another tab that I have used a ton. So the first page in this tab is like a little layout, which I think is really cute. Again, just to kind of provide you with some tips if this is your first time planning a wedding, which obviously for me, this is my first wedding. And so yeah, it just provides like various tips, kind of how to lay out like your invitations and your save it save the dates and just kind of like what to include in your inv invitation, like what specific information, like if you have like a dress code, what to include and like other things like that. So that's really cool that it includes those tips in there. And then under this guest list, you have a guest list draft. So it provides you with a few pages just to start drafting your guest list. And then it also has pages where you can write down like your final guest list. You can write down everyone's name, their addresses. And then you can also, it also has a section um, an RSVP section so you can write down if that guest has RSVP'd or no, which I really like. I think that's definitely going to come in handy once we, you know, send out our invitations and start getting RSVPs back. And so you can, it's, this is just like a nice layout of things so you can quickly see like who still needs to RSVP and just kind of get a better idea of how many guests you will be having coming to your wedding. Oh, and also under this tab, it also provides a place for you to keep gifts records. So whether, I feel like you could use this for like the day of your bridal shower or even the gifts that you receive on your wedding day, you can write down who got you the gift, what the gift was, and it also provides a column, um, like a thank you. So it, you can like check off once you wrote and sent a thank you note, which I think is really nice. I love anything that can keep me organized. So that's one of the things that I really love about this wedding planner. The next tab is called wedding events, which I don't think I've used yet. No, I have not. So this just provides like, um, various information for you to put uh, for various events related to your wedding. So for example, this first page right here is engagement party. So it allows you to write down the date and the location for that, like an invite list and just it allows you to write down like what outfits you're going to wear for it, what kind of food and beverages you're going to have. And then what I think is really cute about this, it, it allows you to put a photo from the event down here, which I think is really cute. This I haven't used yet. I don't know how much of it I'm going to use um, just because I don't know how many of these events I'm actually going to have. Like we're not having an engagement party. Uh, I'm assuming I'll have a bridal shower, but like, I don't know. I'm just different. Like I'm not really into having like a bridal shower and I'm not even really into having like a bachelorette party. I mean, I'm sure I'll end up doing something because I know Luke wants to do like a bachelor weekend where him and his friends go out like during the summer like on a weekend and go like rent like a lake house or something and just be by the lake but, like I don't really know but it provides other information so you can um write down stuff for your ceremony rehearsal and rehearsal dinner and then the very last page just allows you to write down various notes and to put other pictures if you choose to do so and then the last two tabs on here which I have not obviously used yet because it's still a ways away but we have wedding day and then honeymoon so under wedding day it allows you to write down like the specific timeline or how you want the day to happen um the order of events for the ceremony, for the reception. And then it also provides wedding day reminders. Just so just like a whole sheet of tips 
which I think is really helpful. Oh, and another thing that I think I will definitely get some uses out of for this tab is it allows you to work on your seating chart. So you can kind of like draw on um, how you want the whole layout of the tables to go and maybe where you want certain people to sit. I think I do want to do like an assigned seating. Um, that's totally up to you if you want to do assigned seating or if you just want to let people sit wherever they want. Because I'm like so into like organizing and I want things to be a specific way. For me personally, I want to do assigned seatings because I just feel like I would just, it, things would just be way more organized that way. But anyways, and then it also includes a page of delegation of tasks. So you can write down like who is going to take care of the ceremony teardown, uh, who's gonna set up the decorations and other things like that. And then last but not least, some of the information that is under the honeymoon tab. So you have like this little wedding uh, or the honeymoon planning page. So the places that you wanna go, um, some of the specific questions to ask for that place, like what's the availability, what's included in the price and things like that. It also includes a separate page to write down um, like your budget and what the actual cost is for the various things dealing with your honeymoon, like airfare, um, activities that you do, hotels, things like that. Ooh, this is something that I really love because I love making lists for packing. So it provides a page for you to make a packing list. And then it also has just like various things um, that you should bring on your trip that you can just check off. And then it provides honeymoon itinerary. So some of the things that you can do on your days during your honeymoon. And that is everything that is included in this w wedding planner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful in some way. I'll definitely take some shots of this planner just so you guys can get a more like up close look of some of the pages in this wedding planner insert so you can decide for yourself if you're getting married or you're engaged and you wanna start looking for your own wedding planner, this could definitely be an option for you. If you have any more questions for me regarding my wedding planner, definitely make sure to leave those down in the comments down below. Or if there's other wedding video requests that you have for me that you want me to include in my little wedding series that I'm doing here on my channel, definitely leave those down in the comments down below. I would definitely love to hear from you guys. And yeah, that is basically it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I really hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.